I just didn't know what the heck was going on. And so I really took a deep dive in my faith, to be honest. I just went deep into like, I believed in Jesus, but I never really like, you know, when it says following Jesus is actually turning away from sin. Mm. And so there's no, what, what it talks about in the Bible, it's like, there's no obedience. There's no faith without obedience. So it's like, I had had faith about like, oh, I believe Jesus died on the cross for me, but I never really implemented it mm. into my life. I never like was like, I'm going to be obedient. So when did you decide to actually move within the guidelines and how did you find yourself away from, yeah, I believe in Jesus, but I'm going to drink or do drugs or sleep around or what, all these other distractions. Right. How did you get out of that world? What was the turning point for you? I think it was my perception of who Jesus really was. You know, um, I had really bad examples of Christians in my life. Uh, who would say one thing and do another. So they were the, my direct example of who Jesus was. That's why you didn't take it seriously. I didn't take it as seriously because I didn't have good examples. Good role models. They, yeah. The way I look at my relationship with God and with Jesus is I'm not trying to earn God's love by doing good things. God has already loved me for who I am mm -hmm. before I did anything to earn and deserve it. It's a free gift by accepting Jesus and just giving your life to him and what he did is the gift. The forgiveness is the thing that we look at and you know, I'm gonna worship you God because you gave me something so good. Do you think that if you hadn't redefined what Jesus was and reclaimed it into something that was worthy of practice for you, mm -hmm. which then led you on a path of reconciliation with your wife, mm -hmm. do you think the person that you, the you of then was on a path of self-destruction? Do you feel that you were on a self, you were self-destructing? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I would have for sure, 100%, yeah. I don't know if I'd be alive for sure. It was dark, really dark. So I'm very, very grateful to have influences in my life that have played a huge part in me seeing their relationship with Jesus and their relationship with their wives and their relationship with their kids and saying, that's what I want mm. and um, striving after that. So Jesus wasn't this religious elite guy that you know came to um but he was he was in the dirt and uh he found me in my dirt and pulled me out like i said before i'm i'm a jesus follower and uh i just want to be led by when you accept jesus he says that now you walk with the holy spirit so i think i just want to be led by by the holy spirit we're not really good at the end of the day at the core i don't believe i don't believe that humans are good at, and people might you know twist this and make me seem like I'm saying humanity's not good. I don't know. But Tell you the truth. I just feel like at the core, I fight every day temptation and things that you know are instinctive to do. Whether it's you know whatever it is, lie, be greedy, all these things that just naturally come. Those naturally come. I got to fight to not be that. So uh, maybe humanity's you know it's it's come to a place of being really. You know, it's, it's broken. I mean, it's just, just look around. I mean, the pain in this world, it's just so, it's like, it's obvious. And uh, people are looking for hope and they're looking for a way out and they're looking for an escape and they're looking for, um, they're looking for truth and they're looking for, um, yeah. And I'm just, uh, I've gotten the opportunity um, with my journey to just, see a God who accepts me, loves me. Um, they call him the savior. Um, and I believe that to be true, mm. that Jesus saved me.